see another concept in computer graphics that is the backface detection method. So the topic that I'm going to cover in this video is what is the backface detection method and there are two types of algorithms will be there. One is the left handed system and another is the right handed system and we'll work on examples and we will see the limitations of using the backface detection. Okay, so now let's start. What exactly the backface detection is? Backface detection method is also called as, we usually call it as a plane equation method. So whenever you see the name plane equation method, it's nothing but the back, backface detection. Why we are using it? It is used to check visible surfaces whenever an object is projected from 3D space or 2D space. So whatever the object that is present on the uh, uh, projected on the 2D or the 3D space, so only we have to check the visible surface. That means backface detection is going to uh, detect and clip that part that is backside which are not viewing okay any image that we are not able to see the back side of that picture so that has to be detected and that has to be removed so and calculate only the visible surface whatever we are seeing that face has to be calculated the back face detection means first try to detect the back face of the object which we, that is not visible capture that remove that okay why we are doing that because to save the processing time and to save the memory which is not useful to the user so that has to be removed that is the main aim of this backface detection uh, method visible with the uh, with the help of this method it is possible to detect which parts of the object will be visible only which parts of the objects are visible the idea here is to find out if a surface is facing away from the user or not if it does Suppose if the uh, facing of the object is uh, away from the user, if it does uh, from the user, then discard the current frame and move on to the next one. Move the next one. Okay. So it is also called as this backface detection is also called as object space method. We call it as an object space method. So why we are calling it as an object space method because it is implemented in physical coordinate system. So the object space method is implementing in physical coordinate system. Coordinate system. So the one point you have to remember that so this backface detection is trying to capture the backface of an uh, object which is not visible that has to be detected and has to be removed. Okay, we have to clip that part. We have the idea here is to find out if a surface is facing away from the user or not. So every surface has a normal vector. Every surface in the picture, it has a normal vector. If the normal vector is projecting in the direction of center of the projection, then it is front face and it can seen by the viewer. So we are able to see that if that normal vector is projecting in the direction of the center of the projection, then it is front face. So the front face we are able to see that. Suppose if the normal vector projects away from the direction from the center of the projection, it is away from that means it is side behind, it is back side of that object. It is a back face and it cannot be seen by the viewer. Okay, so you have to remember these points and let's work on the here. Let the normal to a surface S be. There are two types, N and V or will be there. N is nothing but a uh, normal vector. Let us take N is a normal vector. Then what about the V? V is nothing but the viewer vector. So the viewer is able to see and this is a normal vector. Okay. So uh, the coordinates for this is Ni, Ny plus Nzk and whereas the viewing vector V is equal to V1 plus Vyz plus Vzk. Okay. So then the surface S will be, suppose if it is a, will be a back face, back face. So then V dot N is less than 0 or V dot N cos angle is less than 0 or cos angle is less than 0 or 180 degrees is greater than angle is greater than 90 degrees. So there are different options. So Vn is, this is 1 or else it is less than 0. This is 1. Okay. Or else. These are the different points. So the one point you have to remember that first one is if a point x comma y comma z whatever I had taken i, z, k okay inside the polygon 
then that uh, ni plus ny plus nzk is less than 0. Both. And then remove that point. You can easily remove that point. Suppose a surface is a back face. A surface is a, let me take, a surface is back face. It is a back face. That means V dot N is greater than 0. It is greater than 0. Okay. So, the, let the normal vector is ABC. Let's take ABC or IJK, whatever it may be. Let me take the normal vector is AI plus BJ plus CK. Okay. And the viewing vector is in the view of the Z direction. So, if the, if the viewer is seeing in Z direction. So, this is a Z direction. So, the X, Y coordinates are 0 and this is VZ. So, if you multiply V dot N, okay. So, that means V dot N, if you multiply A is 0, B is 0, that is VZC. So, here whatever the C is there, if that sine of C, sine of C is less, greater than 0. Greater than 0 means back face. Greater than 0 means back face. That is invisible part. Invisible part. So that you can be removed. Remove that points. You can remove those points. Suppose if the sine of C is. If the sine of C is less than 0. Then it is front face. Front face means visible part. This is the main aim here. Okay. So, thus the weaving angle would be greater than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees for the front face. Okay. For front face, angle should be less than 90 degrees. So, see here. The angle should be less than 90 degrees. This is the front face and this is the back face. So, there are, I said there are two types of algorithms will be present. One is the left-handed system and then there is a the right-handed system. Left-hand system, for every face of an object, calculate the end. So, what is the n? I said n is nothing but the normal vector. Normal vector. So, what is the normal vector? Ai plus Bj plus Ck. Okay. So, if suppose C dot, C dot Z component is greater than 0. So, the vector components are nothing but uh, whatever I said Vx, Vy and Vz. Okay. So, here if C dot Z component is greater than 0, if it is greater than 0, just now I said, if it is greater than 0, then a back face and don't draw, else front face and draw. If it is greater than 0, then it is a back face, don't, don't try to draw that, just remove, clip that part, else go with the front face and draw. In the above algorithm, if the Z component is greater than 0, then the positive number, that is what I said, positive number, then then it is, then it is back face. Back face. Back face is nothing but invisible part. Invisible part. So, else it is a front face. So, consider your algorithm for right-handed system. For every face of an object, calculate N. Suppose, if that C dot Z component, Z component here, it is uh, Vn. So, it is less than 0. That is, if it is C dot N, uh, sorry, Vector, vector and the uh, viewer vector and the normal vector is equal to. Uh, so, you got the positive number. If it is less than 0, if it is less than 0, then the back face and don't draw. Else print face draw. So, in the above algorithm, if the z is greater than 0, positive number, then it is a front face. Else it is a back face. So, this is right hand opposite to the left hand side. So, consider an example. So, in this example, you get a complete clarity how to clip the video that is not visible. Okay. So, only we here the back face detection means we have to take only the front part that is visible. Check whether the two surface of an object with normal. So, that here the normal vectors are given uh, for object 1 is given as 2i, two, uh, two, sorry, this is 2i minus 3j plus 4k. Okay. This is object 1. And the object 2 is equal to i plus j minus 2k. And viewed from a direction. So, the viewing vector v is equal to. So, this is n1 and this is n2. And the viewing vector is i minus j plus k. So, we have to detect. We have to check whether it is a back face or a front face. 
okay so let's calculate for the normal for object 1 so v is there n is there the coordinates are 1 minus 1 and 1 here the coordinates are 2 minus 3 4 so now compute v dot n so v dot n 1 into 2 minus 1 into minus 3 1 into 4 you will get 2 plus 3 plus 4 that is 9 so 9 is greater than 0 so according to the algorithm what is it since the dot product is greater than 0 thus the object 1 is in front face if it is greater than 0 the object i am saying v dot n v dot n don't consider the sign okay so if the uh, v dot n is greater than 0 then the object 1 is front face okay this is front face object now let's calculate the object 2 Excuse me. Normal for object 2 is i plus j minus 2k. Then v dot n. So what is the n values? V values. The v value is nothing but 1 minus 1, 1. 1 minus 1, 1. So and v, what is the v2? That is n2. 1, 1 minus 2. So multiply it. 1 into 1 minus 1 into 1. And 1 into minus 2. That is 1 minus 1 minus 2. That you got minus 2. That is less than 0. Since the dot product is less than 0. The object is back face. So this part. This uh, coordinates you can be removed. Because object 2 is a back face. So don't require that. Only the viewing part we require. So this is how uh, the back face detection algorithm is worked. So there are limitations here. What are the limitations? This method is used for convex polyhedra. So, but not recommended for the concave polyhedra. Okay. And it is applied on solid objects model as polygon mesh. So, this type of uh, backface detection is applied on only on the solid objects model because as the polygon mesh is there. So, okay. So, this is about the backface detection students. Still, if you are facing any doubts, please let me know. Thank you.